Last week we looked at putting the roadcaster together. This week we'll look at the practical application of this very brilliant piece of kit. Podcasting is the number one growth area in media production, with an estimated 700,000 active podcasts in over 100 languages out there. If you want your voice heard, well, you have enough to think about when it comes to producing the content of your podcast without worrying about the technicalities of the production, or indeed the cost of investing in all the equipment you may need to produce a live show. The Roadcaster from Road cover all the bases when it comes to producing a show. You can plug up to four mics at a time with four individually controlled headphone outputs. You can connect a Bluetooth device for music playback and a phone for people to dial into your podcast. There are eight pads to load your favorite sound effects to punctuate your show and all controlled by a really simple touch screen to make life exceptionally easy for you. This leaves you less to worry about when it comes to the technicalities and you can concentrate on the all important content of the show. Last week, we set it all up and now we're ready to go. The very first thing you should do is to confirm that you have the latest firmware. Firmware is the software that the Roadcaster runs on internally and the latest version gives you lots of extra functionality from the original version. So download the firmware and the software for the Roadcaster from the Road website and install the firmware when you've got the USB plugged into the Roadcaster and your computer. We have mic one plugged into the first channel which corresponds to the first fader. The presenter should use the first headphone output as it allows you to reference the solo and the mute buttons when the others don't. Now, we need to set up our recording levels and enrich the voice with the other parameters. So select the channel you want to work on. It'll be one, two, three, four, but we're on one. We select the microphone. It could be dynamic, condenser, or any of these road models. We need a level, so that's very low, we press plus, 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 and then we get a better level. So we could bring it up to 34, 35. This mic doesn't need phantom power, so I'm gonna turn that off. We go back, we have our level set, and the type of voice you have, what kind of tone is it? Is it a deep, high, or medium tone? You can set the strength of the tone. Is it soft spoken, strong spoken, or medium? The advanced parameters bring us into a whole new world, a compressor, a de for anyone going in their talking. The high pass filter rolls off all the low end rumble and all the building rumble, so it's all the low frequencies. And a noise gate cuts off the sound when it doesn't hear any audio coming in. But you can get sucking noises when that's happening. So the oral exciter for monotone people will give you a bit more dynamic in there and a big bottom gives you that lovely rich FM radio tone and processing turns everything off. So that's the advanced microphone and level. With your USB smartphone and Bluetooth, you do get the same parameters. You get your presets, whether it's phone call, speech or music or none. If you go to speech and it's advanced, you get all your plugins there that you can work to. You get different plugins when you go to music and with a phone call, you don't get any at all. So let's go back here. That's your presets, oh, and your levels. You can set your levels there as well, if we had a phone call coming in. The other three channels correspond to the other mic inputs and all have the same options to get the best sound from your guests. The next thing to look at is your headphones. There are enough headphone outputs for four people and each individually controlled by its own lovely chunky volume knob right here. There's also a 3.5 jack for another set on the front. So that's five headphone outputs in all. The next section is the channels to control the volume of the external equipment. First is the USB to connect your Mac or your PC. The Roadcaster is now an audio interface where if you set your computer's sound output to Roadcaster, it'll send its sound out to this channel. So you can play tunes from your computer. 
On the same USB lead, you can set up your sound recorder to record your podcast into your computer. Again, in your computer's audio settings, you set your input to Rodecaster. And make sure that the sound recorder on your computer is seeing the Rodecaster as the source to record. Originally, the Rodecaster only recorded a stereo master to the SD card or computer. But if you wanted to do any post-production work on your podcast, that was exceptionally limiting. Now, after a recent firmware update, you can output each channel of your podcast as a separate audio file to the SD card or to your favorite digital audio workstation, such as Pro Tools, Nuendo, or Reaper. Make sure that you select Roadcaster Multi-Channel as your interface, otherwise you'll only get a stereo interface option. As a professional post guy, I would always ask for the individual channel output to be able to do audio post-production work. It's really important. And by the way, you can transfer your podcast to the computer via the USB by putting the Rodecaster into transfer mode. And the SD will show up as another drive on your Explorer or your Finder. You can then copy your audio files from the Rodecaster to your computer. So user friendly. The next fader is the phone fader, which you can plug in any device with a 3.5mm jack, such as an iPad or your phone. This allows you to have a hard wire connected and play music into your show or have somebody call into your podcast. The third fader is the Bluetooth fader, which allows connection to any device with Bluetooth once the simple Bluetooth pairing is done. Again, for whatever. Calls, WhatsApp calls, Skype, Spotify. Just one thing on the music in your podcast. If you are producing a podcast, you are liable for the cost of using any music in your show, not iTunes or any other hosting platform. You have to pay the licensing fees to the appropriate music rights body responsible for the music you use. Each fader in the external device section also have options to enhance the signal going to that channel under the headings of phone, call, speech or music. You can access these options under the channel section in the settings menu. Don't be afraid to look under the hood with this machine. There's no irreparable damage you can do if you're not in record at the time. Finally, the last fader is for the sound effects pads to the right. These trigger any sounds you might want like music stings or sound effects. You can load your favorite sounds onto the pads via the application on your computer, either by drag and drop or record them through the microphones attached to the Rodecaster. When you've loaded your sounds, then bring up the fader to hear them. There are several play modes. Latch is when you hit the pad and the sound plays until you hit the pad again to stop it. Pause is when you hit the pad, the sound plays but pauses. When you hit that pad again, replay will replay your sound until you stop playing it by hitting the pad. And play will play the whole sound file without stopping even when you hit the pad again. There's no ability to edit the sounds in the Rodecaster, but you could do all your editing on the computer before uploading them to the Rodecaster via the USB. You can also change the color of each pad if that'll help you remember what's where. The Rodecaster is a very brilliant piece of kit for anyone that wants to put together a podcast. Its rugged construction exudes simplicity. For what you get in one unit is amazing. The cost of buying a recorder, mixing desk, preamps, headphone distribution amps, sound effects, triggers, compressors, etc, 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 etc. It would far outweigh the cost of one of these units. I can imagine most of you will have very little trouble finding the way around the Rodecaster, leaving you more time to focus on the very important aspects of putting together the best podcast ever, reaching your audience and making a difference in the world. I'm Keith Alexander and you've been watching Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos and tell us what you think. You can like, comment or share this video and if there's anything you want me to cover or look at, please let me know. And check out the Adorama Learning Center for more great articles and tips on all things audio.